Hey guys, my name is CMC. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We have Season 1, Episode 4. Alright, so, after 16 games played, we sit in 8th, which could be a lot better to be honest. Okay, so it's the 15th of December. We're going to start today's video and episode off with a match against David Moyes, West Ham United, who are having a tremendous season in real life, and they even look better on career mode here. They have the Swiss striker Mbolo up top. So here today, we'll try and wrap up the December calendar, and then hopefully... At the start of tomorrow's episode, episode 5, we'll have the January transfer window. And we might be able to bring in some reinforcements as well. So let me know in the comments, players you would like me to sign. Anyway, we've got this London derby here against the Hammers at the Emirates. It's going to be a cracker on Fifa's Realism mod, playing as Arsenal yet again. Odegaard sets up Renato Sanchez. With the shot blocked. Odegaard finds Saka on the left-hand side. He's actually been good off the left when I played him there. Brought, bringing Pepe in. But ball in. Straight at the feet at Areola. Arsenal have been playing some fantastic football today. Come on, intercept that. Good stuff, Saka. Areola couldn't clear it cleanly enough. Mbabu finds Pepe. Trying to find Odegaard, but it's found Sanchez in the end. Back to Odegaard with a bit of skill. Oh, and it's a goal. 1-0 just before the 27th. And the boys have started off so, so well here. And he's come and given me a big old hug. <laughs> Odegaard has made it 1-0 just before the 28th. Sanchez waits calmly. Sets up Odegaard. Supreme intelligence as well. To get the little skill piece of skill move off to get the essentially space away from Ogbonna because he was tracking him down. We finally break through Ariola, who managed to thwart two pretty decent attacks by us early on. But we're 1 0 up against West Ham. Hopefully, we can go and grab the three points. Come on, Arsenal. Up the Gunners. Second half now. Isaac. Puts a decent through ball for Pepe to go and follow. Nice couple step overs there. It <laughs> gets knocked by Cresswell, but still manages to maintain possession. Thomas Party ball in, blocked by Declan Rice. Maybe a potential midfielder we could bring in in the future? Maybe, I don't know. I think his future and destiny probably lies closer towards Chelsea, if I'm being honest. Anyway, Thomas Party looks to bring the ball up. Actually, there's going to be a substitution. I'm going to bring off Isaac and bring on Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I did that a while ago and only just went in then. Lanzini comes on for Moisey as well. 62nd minute sub. Ball in by Partey. And a good punch by Ariola. And it's going to be another corner kick. Someone's been bowled over there. Which is interesting, but come on. Man. Just look... How glorious the stadium and graphics look on the realism mod. It looks so, so good. Mbabu receives the ball brilliantly. Was it the ball well? Denier, centre back, caught. Doesn't matter, Sanchez is on the ball. Just got to make the nice pass. Dominic Calvert Lewin. Odegaard. Oh, he's holding up the ball well. Someone make the shot. Pepe. Oh. No one had the sort of courage to go for it there. Oh, straight at his kneecap. Nearly did his ACL. All right. We're still 1-0 up for now. Lanzini. Oh, finds Mbolo. I fear his name on the team sheet. Ball in. Rice can't get to it. And it might be the narrow 1-0 lead. And it is. Three points against the Hammers. Well deserved. Alright, we had a match against Leeds. We managed to beat them 3-0. 
Isaac Odegaard. Unfortunately, Saka picked up a red card with a reckless tackle. He went and got sent off. We also had a match against Norwich as well. We managed to beat them 3-0 thanks to a goal from Thomas Partey and a decent header by Denier. So that brings us to 6th on 37 points. United are going invincible at the moment and they're at the top of the league by Christmas. It's still a super close title race. Any of those top four can win. Okay, so we've got a match against Wolves. And that is the last match before the January transfer window kicks off. Okay, let's get stuck into Wolverhampton Wanderers. A really strong and formidable side. Isaac is currently joint top goal scorer, which is awesome for him. And we'll switch this over to the yellow, yeah. We'll let them play in their bright yellow. I actually quite like that kit. All right, everyone's ready to go. Let's start things off. Man, how far have Wolves fallen off a bit as well? Since the... Sort of Nuno era sort of going off. But anyway, a lot of strong and pacey players we've got to watch out for in this one. Sanchez. Odegaard, back to Isaac. Premier League top goal scorer, beats two. Ah, and couldn't continue to go forward and follow up from it. Wolves pick it up. Oh my God, they distributed it terribly though. That sometimes happens. Come on, we need to capitalize on this. Isaac, can't. Damn, man. They've signed Gross, really? Dendonka to Pedro Neto. Wolves holding up the ball well. Get the shot at Leno. But he's got a glove to it. Wolves with the first real dangerous opportunity of this match. In the pouring rain. At the Emirates. Arsenal. They've probably saved it from going 1-0 down there to be honest. Uh, I just don't know about Leno. He's such an inconsistent goalkeeper. I'm really conflicted with him. Let me know in the comments. Isaac, back to Odegaard, Thomas Partey. I see the run of you, Pepe. He's quickly released it, though, brilliantly. Isaac, oh my god, Odegaard. Still nil-nil. Both sides, to be honest, could realistically stake a claim to being in front. That's a good save. Oh, it looked like it hit him right in the mush. <laughs> All right. Neto, back to Dendonka. Wolves in a dangerous position. Raul Jimenez with a great shot. Yeah. Leno with actually another top-notch save. We've managed to basically relent from the Wolves' attack. Still nil-nil. Super close, this one. Pedro Neto. Second half now. Sanchez can't track him. Dendonka's having an amazing match here to Raul Jimenez. And it's Gross. Yeah, I think it's Pascal Gross. A pretty smart signing by them. Unfortunately for me, he's picked up the goal there. Wolves finally break the nil-nil deadlock with Gross scoring Wolves' goal and giving them the lead. Bunny's man well. And then it was just a nice little layoff. Denier just wasn't quick and onto it. He was containing a little bit, but just couldn't close down Gross from breaking away in the end. Yeah, Pascal Gross, his first goal in six matches after being recently brought in for Wolverhampton. Come on, we're Arsenal. We need to get back in this one. Saka. Nice little bit of skill with the step over there. Isaac. Saka calls for it. Odegaard finds Thomas Partey. Someone fell over there. It wasn't a foul in the box. Great shot on target, but couldn't convert. Thomas Partey, the former Atletico Madrid man, hit that so, so sweetly, but it was on target straight at the goalkeeper. Corner kick here now. Can Odegaard work some magic? As Saka comes off. Pepe on. 
And DCL comes on as well. Ball in. Oh, my God. <laughs> I subbed him at the perfect time there to get the header off. Oh, it's off the crossbar as well. Dominic calvert it on. Doesn't even touch the football. Gets a header in the end. Uh, we probably run out of time. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't get the equaliser. We've lost here now. 1-0 after the full-time whistle. Really disappointing. An unlucky Dominic Calvert-Lua. Uh, yeah, it was a header, really, technically. All right, so we're in the January transfer window now. So, after 20 games played, we sit in 7th on 37 points. Maybe I need to readjust my expectations. Regardless, we get stuck into Manchester City now. We're going to be hosting them at the Emirates. I want to get some points. We lost to them earlier on in the season. Jamie Vardy is currently the top goal scorer. And funnily enough, he signed for Man City. But he's not playing by the look of it. Immobile is going to be playing. Grealish. And a couple others as well. Alrighty, let's get stuck into Pep Guardiola's Manchester City to end today's episode off. Then we'll have the January transfer window. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. I'm looking for a new goalkeeper, I think. Potentially another centre-back. And a left-wing player. Now, we could even go for someone like Sterling or... I don't know, someone in that ilk. I don't know. He might be too expensive, Raheem. Anyway, we're underway at the Emirates. Let's go, Saka. Nice little bit of skill. Burns pass, Riyad Mahrez. Comes back on the inside. Sanchez is now up for it. Isaac has turned Laporte, and it's a goal! A brilliant strike. A stick of dynamite there by Isaac. And we are still in seventh, but this guy is still so goaded. He has hit the Premier League. He's, like, he's hit the ground running since joining the Premier League. And he's hit some fantastic goals as well. And he's made it 1-0 against Edison as well. Whew, look at that turn. The pace. The acceleration from a man, you forget, is 6-4. And Edison is shell-shocked. And same with Pep. Pep Fraudiola <laughs> on the bench. Doesn't believe it. Isaac scores 14 goals in 21 matches. Come on, the boys. Yeah, I think we just need to restructure our defense, if anything. Party. Like, our forwards, our offensive capabilities are fantastic. Odegaard, Isaac, Saka. They're awesome players. But maybe it might take a couple more seasons before we, become, before we can become a Champions League team. But anyway, what's going on here? We're just oozing with confidence against Man City. Sanchez steps up now. And... They're not, like, easy goals. These are glorious-looking goals we're getting in. That was a brilliant piece of play. Nice ball in. Thomas Party. Sanchez knew he was going to get closed down quickly. Took a touch. Eyed up the shot. And absolutely drilled it into the side netting. It's 2-0 against Manchester City. Can we beat them for the first time this season? Jack Grealish, or Jamie Tart, I like to call him. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Ted Lasso recently. Maybe I should do some stuff on it. Anyway, Immobile on the ball. We need to concentrate here. Immobile. Oh, that's a little bit cheeky there by Jack Grealish trying to chip Leno. You never know. That's sort of a goal that he would concede. Uh, maybe wasn't it? Yep. Uh, it was a light finesse, let's say. Had a little bit more curl than a chip, I think. Yeah, maybe Jamie Vardy's got an injury or something. Because they're playing Immobile instead of him. Um, I'm going to make a substitution. I've made the decision to bring on Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And they're bringing on Panea. And Gundogan as well. Alright. But we're 2-0 up against Man City. Depending on how this goes, we might need to park the bus 
for this last little while. I think it's offside that was. What was that? Oh, okay. That's a little bit hard done by Denier's hair. His man bun is probably nearly over the line. Gundigan, fresh off the bench, finds Bernardo Silva, Immobile. With two little elasticos. Saka comes in, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's on Saka if that goes in. Nah. Just the way he came in with so, such physicality. It actually fell to a Manchester City player. And that's how they created that goal. That's ultra unlucky. Yeah, because he cleared it. Yeah. And Jack Grealish finally steps up and puts his name on the score sheet for this match. And Leno is beaten at the near post. Manchester City make it 2-1. Because at the end of the day, they are in the title race. We're just trying to claim a top four finish. Jack Grealish scores 4-8. and eight. Okay. You'd think his output would be a bit more for being a 100 million pound player, both in career mode and in real life. There's some probably, probably sensible and realistic criticism you could mount at Jack Grealish in real life. Anyway, we want to try and get another goal here. Hang on. Odegaard's been slipped through by DLC and it's a goal. Oh my god. We just looked so up for this one. And it was a brilliant, smooth pass from Odegaard. Oh, sorry, from uh, Dominic Cavalier to find Odegaard. Wow. It was Odegaard with the goal. Look at that. Manchester City exhausted from working so hard just to get their one goal. And Odegaard scores a long-range screamer at the edge of the box. And we're 3-1 up. And we've put this match without a shadow of a doubt now of an Arsenal victory. 3-1. You're done out here. Yay. Good stuff. Wow, what a performance. Our biggest win of the season. And it probably couldn't have come at a better time. We need to start beating the top teams. Isaac, Sanchez and Odegaard pick up a goal each. And then in the 87th minute, Jack Grealish... Really scored no more than a consolation goal. But it was that man there to start things off. What a world-class finish by, by him. He's elite. And he scored 14 in 21 matches as well. That's such decent output. And we get the win. Well, unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned for episode 5 coming out tomorrow. We're in the January transfer window. We need some players. Let me know. And without further ado, I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. But thanks guys, my name has been Simsy, much love from Australia, goodbye.